and they form all these unusual shapes and patterns. And on a branch or on a rock that we're going to see, you'll find dozens of different species of lichen. Now, some of them are frilly like this. This is called goat's beard or old man's beard lichen. And it, it's fairly common in Alabama. There's not a lot of it here in the preserve. Uh, it's, it's not real tolerant of pollution. So some lichens grow in urban areas, and those are going to be ones that can tolerate the air pollution. If you go outside of Birmingham, you'll find a lot of stuff that won't grow inside of Birmingham. Uh, in Alabama, there's at least 600 known species of lichen. Worldwide, there's about 17,000. So, uh, you know, it's a quite diverse group. This is a common moss you see along trail banks, soil banks, along trails. It is a long here. But yeah, drop It's got a longer spore fight, right? And it's, right now, the spore fights are out. In a few weeks, they'll be gone. This is called atricum. The name of the moss is atricum, which means not three leaved. We'll see polytrichum across the river, which is many three leaves. And this is a common moss. When it dries up, it won't look like this. You won't recognize this when it dries up. But right now, it has that kind of starburst little pattern. It's easy to identify, and it's real common along the trails in Alabama. And ferns are different from mosses, liverworts, and lichens. Ferns have internal structures that move water and sugar. So they're called vascular plants. Mosses and liverworts are non-vascular plants. And so they were a giant leap ahead in plant development. It's, it'll grow in this uh, siliceous sandstone rock. And sometimes they're specific as to whether they'll grow on Sandstone or limestone. You'll see that one across the river. Is this sandstone or limestone? This is sandstone. It's all sandstone, what you see right here. Wait, there it was. As far as I know. Oh so that resurrection fern. There's resurrection fern. All the green stuff you see growing here, though, is liverwort. Resurrection fern on the side. Look at that. We can see the resurrection fern right here. You've got to always watch out for the fish. Almost they taught me to do one time. When you're at a log, look down for sleep. They're over there. They're over there. They're over The Latin name is Brigantia leucosantha, and the common name is the brick spore fire dot lichen. The only way to tell that is to get the spore case and look at that under the microscope. It looks like little bricks stacked up. But it has those bright orange discs for the ascus. Another lichen that's real common in Alabama, it's easy to tell. It's called the script lichen. If you look closely, the spore cases, the ascus, are linear, and it looks like little hieroglyphics. So it's called uh, the Latin name is Graphis scripta, or the script lichen, and the little layer, the black stuff is called Lorella because it's a linear type of spore cut. All right, look at this stuff right here. You see this little golden brown stuff? Is that a liverwort? Nope. It's a lichen. Nope. It's a moss. It's green algae. Oh, just algae. Just algae. It's a filamentous algae called Trentifolia. And it, it grows extensively in Alabama. If you hike the Penhody Trail, you'll see acres of this stuff growing along the trail. And you got the still got the pixie cups in here. You got another lichen that grows in the rock. Hey, mom, you know those pine trees? The thallus is in the rock. What you see are the spore capsules, the sarcogenies, which are pretty distinct there. But. So this rock may be completely infiltrated with lichen tissues. Just sometimes you see the reproductive structure, sometimes you don't.